Hello, it's Steve Earle here for Harrington Earl Estate Agents. About to take you on a walkthrough of Unit 3 at 65 George Street in Fitzroy. Property is a three level contemporary style block of apartments with a security gate entry to its northern side, which is to a single car space for one of the residents. And also behind that area is the common property incorporating some outdoor um, respite and the uh, clotheslines and to the southern side a security gate entry there. We are some 100 metres from the intersection of George and Gertrude Streets with the tram line running along there and of course Gertrude Street has become synonymous with boutiques and trendy cafes and eateries. To the southern direction some 150 to 200 metres the street terminates at Victoria Parade also with the tram line taking you to the city and in an easterly direction down Victoria Street. So well serviced by public transport and a fantastic section of quality period homes, a beautiful Queen Anne style property next door. If we pan back around to have a look on the other side of the street, lovely Victorian, Georgian style terrace houses, a quality modern development sitting in that particular site before we see Beautiful other Victorian terraces and then down to the commercial aspect of Gertrude Street. I've opened the gate purely for ease of access today. It's your walkway along the southern side. So there's a nice garden area. It's always been well maintained here. Nice and clean. And I'll take you straight out to the parking arrangements before we wander into the apartment itself. We use a fob for entry to go through the security areas. Parking here for eight vehicles. Nice wide double gates coming in off the rear laneway. And we'll see from there the type of access down from Gertrude Street. So good parking ability. Sorry about that, had to put the camera. That's the back of the common area I mentioned, which is off to the north side. And we'll wander back in through the common property into Unit 3, for which is a ground floor. I've turned the lights onto the property. So ground floor entry carpeted once you come through the immediate wet area. This area is your communal laundry which is a coin slot type laundry and dryer wash troughs and the gateway there goes out to the area I mentioned which is closed off on either side on the east and west directions so there is a small sitting area here, people storing their bikes and the likes to clothes lines. And back around down to George Street. I had a question put to me as we we're just doing an inspection of the property now as to whether NBN was connected. There is an NBN portal in the apartment. We go through a fire door. There were two apartments in the initial foyer. There's an initial four here. So that the stairwell remains quiet. There's a fire door that's just closed behind me. So we've come into a private four unit foyer. Unit three is situated on the northern side. As we open up to it, there is a folding timber floor. Looking across through the windows there, and that's out onto that uh, communal space where there is your clothesline and the likes. Space underneath there for a dishwasher. And as I go in a little closer there, the NBN portal. It's laminated bench tops, single stainless steel sink, electric underbench oven. Electric cooktop, range hood above, overhead neck cabinetry and underneath, and to 
the one nearest the set of drawers, a 50 litre electric hot water service. On this window there are both shear blinds, so they are see-through from the inside out and there are also block out blinds. As I pan back around from the entry door, there are dual arches which would lead to the sleeping area. And in this space, it's approximately 3 to 3.2 metres in width. Power point on that wall, which would be behind the bed area. The walls are painted in a cream yellow type blend with the floating timber floors. The ceiling is off white, all painted up in recent times. There are built in wardrobes off this bedroom area and they're of good quality and nice and deep. So genuine hanging space, storage above, a couple of cabinets over and above there, shelving through this particular one and additional hanging on the right hand side. The bathroom transitions from the bedroom area and through a doorway. There is a skinny standing uh, basin with two drawers underneath. There is a mirrored vanity still in situ and the mirror is in pretty good order hanging rail off to the side of the vanity and then the bathroom particularly the shower has had some unique features there with a pebble style uh, floor ceramic tiles and a good size with a glass door toilet to the other side of the bathroom I'll come back through and I'll give you a panoramic view back across from the corner of the bedroom looking back into the apartment so the cabinets doorway into the bathroom the dual arched ceilings and then walking back in to where the kitchen area is um, modern electricity switchboard and so I hope that assists you and if you've got any further inquiries don't hesitate to get in touch with our office. Thank you.